I want to speak about America's most un, uh, unsung, uh, the most greatest, and the, like Ivan the Terrible, the most terrible president we ever have had. And uh, what probably has had the greatest impact on the country, uh, but we don't even realize it. But uh, it's not George Washington. Nope, it's not Lincoln. Mm -mm, it's not Kennedy, though this began around the time when Kennedy was assassinated. Uh, it's not Obama. Obama is not the first black president. Well, he's the first uh, ethnically. Uh, he's a uh, he's got uh, black genetics, but the true black president in which I speak, he was president so many times, but yet people don't. He may even be still president now. Um, basically George Bush Sr. Well, he was vice president twice for this actor guy named Ronald Reagan, an actor. So what's to say, in all actuality, George Bush Sr. was the real president, but that he let Reagan appear to be the front man so he could rule from the shadow. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Then he himself becomes president for a, two terms. Uh, then after that, you know, Clinton's in for a minute, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, maybe they had a truce, but uh, maybe not. Uh, but, you know, all presidents, still they still get uh, the Secret Service services and they can send notes to the president and they can still chat. Uh, but... Then after that, his son becomes president. So really, he didn't have to be vice president. He got to quarterback that situation there. So he was still president yet again. And if Obama is a cult uh, operative, uh, basically, some say he's a clone. What if George Bush didn't have it set up so he would have... Uh, basically, uh, it's, it, it's a cell, a sleeper cell in the White House. Uh, can't prove that for sure. Uh, and then since they let him be Democrat, the Republicans, the neoconservative Republicans are in the clear. It's the Democrats doing it would be the perfect patsy to, uh, blame it on the other guys. And, and these guys are adept masters of it. Old, uh, old scullies. Uh, but yeah, that's. That's my interpretation of the last, uh, you know, uh, uh, 25 uh, years or more of, uh, of presidential shizzle. Uh, it was even before that. It was probably about since the time I was born is when that started, you know, when the whole Reagan. But really, think about it. An actor. Who better to, than, than to be a front man than an actor and then have the real cutthroat CIA director guy as your vice. So. Look, you can tell, like, if them two dudes were locked in prison together, George Bush would be the one running the fucking room. He'd be deciding who sleeps on top and who sleeps on bottom. So, same thing with Reagan and Bush. Uh, in all actuality, when they when it was just them two in the room, Reagan was, was scared of George. Not George wasn't scared of Reagan. So, I mean, come on, you got to read in between the lines to see the truth that we have had a black pope. Uh, basically that's the, that's, that's the strategy that he used to, to maintain power, to become the American royalty, the American Pharaoh, the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, he, that is exactly what it is. It's modeled after the black Pope. See that the Pope, oh, I love you, you know, waving from the thing. He's just a ceremonial figure. You know what I'm saying? He does all these like these jobs, like oh, talking to people and pretending like he cares about people and their problems, and uh, you know, to make hand signs to bless them. While this black pope guy, uh, really is the guy that ha runs all the intelligence agencies and the Knights of Malta, which is a it's a state and a, a religious order, a military order. Uh, and these guys really are the ones that run the world. They're the dudes who do the real dirty deals of the politics. They're the real Machiavellians. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from the shadows that be running things. And George Bush is one of them. He is a Knight to Malta. So, I mean, it's it's not hard to, 
to, to follow these people back to their roots. And then you look at what did their roots believe? Well, that was their thing, subversion. And uh, and trickery, connivery, and infiltrating, and, and and then getting leadership roles, and then like like you basically you become the leader of your enemies, and then you make all the wrong decisions on purpose so they're destroyed. You don't care if you're destroyed too, because you're doing it for the black pope. You know what I'm saying? It's just like jihad. They go blow themselves up. Oh, Allah wanted me to do that. Uh, that's the same thing. These these Jesuits are just as radical. At, they they do the same things as jihadis do. So I just wanted to bring that to uh to light once again. Uh, so yeah, man, definitely something else to think about here. Uh, the the true king of the United States. You know what I'm saying? The true uh the true the black pope of the United States. The first black president. The true first black president.